is real. You can keep doing people dirty and being a complete asshole and think God is going to bless you. It may not be today or tomorrow or next week, but what goes around comes back around. And when that bitch come back for you, it'll be tenfold. Closely. If you don't separate yourself from your distractions, your distractions will separate you from your goals. So stay focused. Y'all, how y'all doing? Um, I know y'all like, bitch, I ain't fucking with your ass. I know it, I know it. This is 1028 Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. What's going on, y'all? I hope y'all looking good, feeling good, and motherfucking smelling good. Y'all, it's, wed it's wedding season, so I just want to tell you guys why I haven't been as consistent you know, it's wedding season. I'm hella fucking booked. I'm trying my best to keep videos on top, do the pictures how they're supposed to be. But shit, you ain't wait all week just for me to tell you about what the fuck I got going on. So let's get into it, all right? What's up, Scorpios? How y'all doing? I hope y'all looking good, feeling good, and motherfucking smelling good. All right, let's see what's good for my Scorpios, which I need to know this time. All right, some of y'all are waking up in the morning, okay? I'm hurting that morning residue. Feel the ground beneath your feet. Okay, some of y'all going outside and y'all taking a walk. And y'all need to do this, okay? This week, take 10 minutes each day for skin-to-earth contact. Whenever you are having a hard time, focus on the task of feeling stress releasing from your place where you take off your shoes in the background at the beach, the local park. Treat yourself to feel the feet under your to feel the ground under your feet. Now, Scorpio, I say this a lot because a lot of you guys don't understand that we do have energy in our body that's pent up. We don't, they understand that our shoes block that shit from releasing out of our body, which it bounces back, which causes us to be angry, have us have cancer in our body. So we got to go outside. We got to take our shoes off. We got to have that sun to ground contact. Okay. We are plant people, baby. Okay. Now spirit is telling you to tune into your body. Cause if you feel like, dang, I feel a little dizzy. I feel a little throat all go to sleep, baby. Okay. Now in this time, while while Venus is in retrograde, we are going to be feeling like a lot of gamma rays coming in on us, Scorpio. But it's saying, tune into your body if you're tired, lay down. You know, if you need to take a break, do what is necessary, okay? Find a comfortable, comfortable place to sit down and lie down. Close your eyes slowly and scan your body digitally, okay? So just be like, dang, let me scan my head. Do these little things, okay? They really do work. Um... You need to figure out where the pain is coming in and then wherever you see that pain or that tension, breathe deeply and relax and tune into your body and see what your body is telling you. It could be telling you that you're using something too much, you're doing something overly too much. It's not saying you ain't got to fuck with it no more, but you're just relying too heavily on it. Life is sleep sweeter when you slow down. So Scorpio, spirit is telling you, bitch, take a breath, okay? You could be tongue-tied. You could just be very overwhelmed. You could be tripping over shit, bouncing your motherfucking toe on the step. You're like, God damn, why I'm so clumsy? Okay, it does have something to do with retrograde, but not only does it have something to do with retrograde, enjoy life. Why you, you know, if you if you always so tense, ah, ah, you screaming and shit, it's because you are stressed, okay? You are a little overwhelmed, okay? Why are you yelling at them damn kids, all right? So think about where and when may, you know, life may serve you or where you need to slow down in your life and look at your schedule next week and consider what you need to cancel, postpone, or maybe even delete because everything could be getting too much for you and you could need to take a break. Okay. Um, doing nothing can be beautiful act of self-care. So Scorpio, you might just need to chill. All right. Doing nothing is awesome. Chilling, vibing, don't feel persecuted if you are doing that because you need to chill. You need to relax, okay? This chilling vibe could have been a break for me. Like, damn, shit, I want to chill and vibe and at least bend you, Ashley, and I feel you. But sometimes you need to bend your own personal thoughts, okay? That's really important. All right, Scorpio, let's see what Craig lack in, baby, okay? This relationship you is this relationship you are in is serving to teach you something very important. All right, Scorpio, let's see if this is a plus honey relationship or a lover's relationship all right so scorpio there's a relationship that's in your life that's trying to teach you something very important let's see who the fuck this is okay who the fuck trying to teach you baby i'm trying to teach you okay so this has something to do with your hobby so whoever this is they are very in concerned with what you do for entertainment okay this could be like you could be a youtuber you could be on social media okay what one does for entertainment one's hobbies their interests and their leisure time all right so there's a relationship here somebody could idolize you because you do these things or you could idolize this person but with the fifth house kind of like rocking here 
This is somebody who is not in tune into their body. Um, this is somebody who don't go outside, but they're focused on how you live your life, okay? Or you focus on how they live their life. All right, you're going to be taught something in this case scenario, which is basically like you create your own life, all right? You can see examples from other people, but you don't need to be mocking nobody. There's a lot of things that someone is not saying. We got truth unrevealed, okay? So the truth has been revealed or will be. So there's something that's going to come out and somebody is thinking about it. <clears throat> I just sneeze. So that's extra confirmation. Whoever this is, they are hiding something, all right? But the truth is about to be revealed. And this person is going to be exposed in some kind of way. Something is being hidden. Oh, y'all, I'm seeing a red bird. Wow, is that a red woodpecker? Yeah, it's a red, black, and white bird that's on my tree right now. And this card has those same colors in it, okay? So a woodpecker, look up what a red, white, and black woodpecker means. I believe it's new beginnings and um, new opportunities. Okay, damn. Okay, so Scorpio, whoever this is that has an unhold truth, an unrevealed truth, it's going to come out. Whoever this is, they are married. And there's a lot of karma that's going to come from this, okay? So whatever this is, there's somebody who is married thinking about you and how they haven't told you something. A lot of karma will come back from this situation. This could be a homegirl that you're close to that's married to somebody. Um, they could have told you to keep a secret. <laughs> um but whoever this is, there's a lot of untold truths that's going to come out. And this person could be, like, doing everything they can to keep, like, their private life and their family life separate. They could be trying to keep all these different things separate. But at the end of the day, something is going to happen. Something is going to cause um, some changes here. And it's all because somebody don't act grown, okay? We got grown here in reverse, so somebody acts very irresponsible. But they portray as if they grow, okay? Somebody could be messy. This also could be like a lot of drama and he say, she say talking. So be very careful with that, Scorpio. Somebody is going to uh, receive a lot of karma. There's a marriage here and there's a secret within this marriage. And somebody is thinking like, when the hell is this secret going to crack, snap, crack and pop? Now, this could be a homegirl because that's really what I'm getting. This girl could be married. She could have kept some secrets here and something is about to be exposed. Okay. And it has something to do with what somebody does on their leisure time. All right. What they claim that they're doing for fun. All right, this is, yep, yeah, yeah, this is exactly what's happening. Somebody could be sneakily going out, getting opportunities, getting dates and stuff like that, but they're trying to hide it in some kind of capacity with darker skinned male here. This darker skinned male is very in tune. He knows what's going on. This person could be surprising people with gifts and openings, or this could be a feminine energy. Somebody could be like, oh, I bought y'all this, or oh, I bought y'all that, okay? These could be gifts. These are, could be places that you can go to have surprises, but this allows somebody else to be somewhere else at the same time. Mm -hmm. This is somebody who thinks they're a beauty queen, but they're not. This is somebody who drags somebody's name, but they shouldn't be doing that at all because they really not even a beauty queen. This is somebody who really don't shine very bright at all, but they say that they do, that they say that they're adored, okay, but they're not. This is also somebody who don't really get great opportunities in dating, okay? With abundance and dates and opportunity, this person is supposed to be focused on getting married, okay? But they're not. This also could be somebody is married, thinking about you, Scorpio, about how you're not actively dating, okay? And they don't understand why the fuck you're not actively dating or actively out here, all right? This also could be somebody that is a homeboy who is living vicariously through their homeboy that is single, okay? And they get a lot of opportunities, a lot of trips, and a lot of different things like that. And it makes them confused on if they want to be married. But there's a lot of untold truth. So something happened on a trip or a vacation or some shit, y'all. I'm telling you because there's a lot of karma that's going to come back up. And it has something to do with a darker skinned male or a darker skinned female. Okay, shit, Scorpio. <clears throat> Overall, though, you know, life is sweeter if you just take your time. There is some karma that's coming up. Somebody is going to get exposed, all right? This relationship is going to teach you something, though. Just remember, you are getting taught a lesson or they asses are. All right. So just know, Scorpio, after all of this hard work, whatever you're doing at work, you will get recognized. This could be some kind of promotion. This hard work is going to pay off. So you could get a raise or an increase in your payment. Shit. ...and outperform them. You see, while you're over there watching me and talking about me, I'm working. I'm working hard. I'm taking things to the next level.